when I started, I really didn't know what I was doing. I told my husband I was opening a shop. He knew that I would get it done. Now, I've always been a determined badass, and I still am a determined badass. I'm George Ann Bryant. I'm the owner of Francis in Central Phoenix. I started making jewelry in about 2005. I was looking to break out of Phoenix and go to LA. I reached out to a rep who got me an appointment at a store and I got all ready, super excited, had my necklaces all spread out and the lady stood me up. So I felt really defeated. And I can vividly remember just raising my shoulders and my head and saying, I'll be in charge of my destiny. I don't need LA. <laughs> my father is an entrepreneur and my mother is an artist. So having those two foundations in my life, that's what inspires me every day. I just thought I'd bring it all together in my neighborhood. All the things I loved and also the artist. When we opened 13 years ago, we were the only shopping in the area. I remember thinking, oh, I'm just gonna open my little mercantile shop in the neighborhood, and it really started to take off. Mostly it was all the items that I loved, but then quite a few vintage stores popped up in the area, and it also took me a lot of time. So I curated that out. We became more vintage inspired. It still has the feel, but they're newer items. Now we're Shop Francis Boutique, which is more modern approach. So through the years, you have to evolve and update to stay in business. Oh, here it is. This was the print that started it all. We saw this on one of his prints on the wall, and so we asked him to put it on a t-shirt. And then it launched him into all the different ones. And it's nice to have an artist-maker collaboration. We call it the Naughty Cabinet, and it's one of my favorite sections of the store. This particular mug I set out for my husband every morning. It says, good morning, asshole. It's all good here in the Naughty Cabinet section. <laughs> When I started, I did everything. I did the bookkeeping, I did everything. It has been really hard for me to let go of certain things of the business. When your heart and soul is into a business, number one is learning how to delegate. Last week, we sent out our newsletter. I really love how the poster turned out. Kaylin did a great job, and she's also going to make it into the actual Crafteria poster. I started Crafteria actually before we were even one year old. Every year it's different artists and it, it gives them a chance to showcase. My goal for that is for the community to come out and see what people are doing. And now we're going to be doing our 14th cafeteria this year. We could grow it to even larger and take it to a larger location, but people really love the intimacy of it and just the community aspect of it. The longevity for Francis has been all these community ties. As we grew, people wanted Francis in San Francisco, in New York, in Canada. As I was getting feedback, I knew that I need to have some presence on the internet. GoDaddy being local was a big part of that. When I first started, there were just postcards you would mail out. And now how far it's gone in 13 years with Instagram and the website, it's just amazing. I really felt confident in using GoDaddy with our security of our domain. Always the customer service has been great. They are on it if we ever have a question or we needed to be guided through something. Having an online presence, having the Instagram, it's just really important to be current and show what we're doing here and be active with our content. I define success by setting out to do something important and following through with it. It's a great feeling to have brought everybody together, the artists, the customers, the community.